Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. Sun coming on. There we go. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God bless everybody in the city of Philadelphia. Pray that you're having a great day. This is a day that the Lord has made. I'm so glad to see everybody out today. Just wanted to share some scripture with everybody really quickly. My name is Brother Shaman and I'm just here to speak the word of God. And I know that there are a lot of people out here today that don't hear the word of God because of whatever reason, some people don't go to church, some people don't listen online, and people are longing to hear God's voice. They're longing to hear his words. So today I'm gonna to speak as the very oracles of the Lord today, and I'm gonna share with you what God is saying to you in the city of Philadelphia. We read in Psalm chapter 23, it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So as we see in the first verse, the Bible says that the Lord is our shepherd and that we shall not want. God is the shepherd and the bishop of your souls. He's the one that created each and every single one of you today. He's the reason why you're alive. He's the reason why you're breathing. He's the reason why you have another chance at life. And his name is Jesus Christ. When you look at a shepherd, you look at their behavior. They take care of sheep. They make sure they don't go astray. And they nourish and they tend to the flock that they have. Jesus is the shepherd of your soul. He doesn't want you to go astray to the things of the world, pornography, fornication, pride, arrogance, drunkenness, getting high, violence. This is not the way that God wants you to go. And as a shepherd, he's warning you today that he's there to take care of your soul. If you don't have enough money to eat, he will make sure that he feeds you, whether it's supernaturally or whether it's naturally through giving money to another person to give to you or so, whatever it is. But God is a shepherd and he will take care and provide for you. Many people don't have their needs met today, but the Bible says that as he takes care of the birds and the beast and the fishes, so will he take care of you because you are made in his image and after his own likeness. So I wanna encourage you today to turn to the shepherd of your soul. The shepherd of your soul is Jesus Christ. It is no one else, it is not Allah, it is not Buddha, it is not anyone that you've made up in your mind that you think can save you. There is no name under heaven that can save you except for the name of Jesus Christ. And he wants to take care of you. But if you reject his grace, then his hand will be removed from your life meaning that he won't be able to take care of you. Some of us, we try to make ourselves our own gods, and we think that we are the savior. But there is only one savior, and his name is Jesus Christ. He died on a cross for your sins. He rose from the dead in three days, and he is coming back for judgment to be cast upon the earth. Now, David said that he shall not lack anything the reason that some of us are lacking today in areas of our life, or actually all of us are lacking in areas of our lives, is because we've neglected the shepherd. We've ran away from the Lord Jesus Christ, and because of that, we now suffer wanting things that we should have had in the first place. Many people, they don't have love. They feel rejected, they feel abandoned. Many people don't have fulfillment. They go around seeking validation from other people and other things. Many people don't have the things that they need 
such as love and peace and joy. But instead, they have the things of the world and they think that in itself is going to help them to be better people. They think having a job, making a lot of money or getting women and drinking alcohol, smoking weed, they think that will fulfill them. But the Bible says that it won't. When you drink and you get drunk, sure, you can feel good for a moment. Sure, you feel tipsy. Sure, you want to dance and you want to have fun. But what happens? What happens when that drunkness runs out? Come talk to me like a civilized human being. Don't run. Come. Come talk to me. You don't have to run. So come tell me up here to my face. It's all right. We can talk. Don't run from me, though. So again, in the world, when we get drunk or when we get high, it's a temporary feeling of happiness. It doesn't last long. Anyone can tell you that. I've been in the world before. I used to do a lot of drugs. I used to drink all the time. And sure, it will feel good in a moment, but then it runs out. And then what happens when it runs out? You feel depressed. You feel anxious. You feel weary. You feel tired. You feel disgusted with life. And that's exactly what happens to those that seek after temporary pleasures, such as getting drunk, such as fornicating, such as getting high. I want you to know that there is a shepherd that is truly after your soul. He loves you so much. Everything that you've done in the world, he knows about. So please, let's not try to hide from God or act as if something we've done was too bad for him. He wants you to repent today, and he wants you to turn back to his ways. We see in Psalm chapter 23, verse 2, that God will help us to lie down in green pastures. He will lead us beside the still waters. In our lives today, so many people are living in chaos. They're living disorderly. They're living in confusion. They're living in a world that seems to be so loud and so obnoxious just as this bus that's driving past. But God wants to give you peace for your soul. He wants to give you a peace that will rule your heart, a peace that will help you to have comfort in every situation in life. He wants to give you a peace where you no longer feel as if there's something that you're lacking or there's something that you should be doing, but instead you'll feel content knowing that he's the God of the universe and that he supplies your each and every need according to his riches and glory. God is truly after your own soul. He wants you to enjoy your experience on earth. He wants you to enjoy your experience being his child. But if we refuse to accept the ways of God, then we are always going to feel confused. We are always going to feel abandoned and unloved. We're always going to feel as if there's something that we're not fulfilling in our lives. And that's simply because Jesus isn't there. Jesus wants you to repent of your sins. He wants you to make that conscious decision today to say, I'm done with marijuana. I'm done with getting high. I'm done with being prideful. I'm done with being rebellious. I'm done with being sexually immoral. I'm done with unforgiveness and bitterness and jealousy. He wants you to say, I want to try you today, Jesus. I want to give my life to you. 